secure. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with a video that I've been looking forward to making the content for, and that is the configured HRM9. Facing it is like facing a monster, a beast. The people that carry it have been gacking me time in and time out, whether it's free for all, 6v6, whatever. So I thought I'd have a good close look at the HRM9, and yesterday we looked at the factory settings, a bare bones HRM9, and how it did in free for all, how it did in 6v6 to determine exactly how we want to configure this animal. What we discovered is, or what I discovered is that the recoil is the most significant aspect of this gun that needs help. Everything else was just fine. And in addressing the recoil, I wanted to make sure that I didn't hurt the range too much, that I didn't hurt the ADS speed, the ADS movement speed, and the sprint to fire speed. We'll take a look at the configuration in a second, but certainly we did take Take care of the recoil and we'll see how we did that. It cost us a little bit in the ADS speed but actually, unintended, we increased the bullet velocity, we increased the range a little bit, and the sprint to fire speed was pretty much the same as was the ADS movement speed. So let's take a look at the configuration. We start with the folding stock, and the folding stock did a lot to help with the recoil, and that's where we had some problems with the ADS speed. If you look at the damage, 35 to the head, 32 upper torso, lower torso and upper legs at 30. So it doesn't seem like too much of a beast, but take a look at the rate of fire at 883 roughly rounds per minute. Bullet velocity is decent. The range is awesome for an SMG. Almost 19 meters and a minimum damage range of 35 meters. The PCS-90 assault grip, that helped additionally with the recoil. The numbers that we see there are composite numbers, 33.12 degrees per second, a significant decrease in the gun kick. We actually help with the horizontal recoil a little bit, but the vertical recoil is a significant improvement at 31.44 degrees per second. That again hurt the ADS speed a little bit. 241 milliseconds is decent, not awesome for an SMG, but that's as bad as it's going to get because this is a composite number. The sonic suppressor, that actually helped with the range a little bit, hurt the recoil, but at 4% we're not going to notice it, and the sprint to fire speed just a little little bit. The Kimura RYN03 vertical grip, that improved the gun kick and the vertical recoil at a slight cost to ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. 2%, I don't even consider that as a hit. And finally, we were out of attachments that we needed, so I decided to add over pressure since we have increased range. We'll increase the target flinch by 75%. So the people with the ARs and the battle rifles and the marksman rifles and the sniper rifles that are trying to draw a bead on grandpa are going to be flinching. So let's take this configured HRM9 beast onto the field of honor, see what it did to grandpa's enemies, and see what it did for grandpa. Let's go. We'll start free for all with some little emergency here. All right, here's a test of the recoil. Look like the attachments did a really good job at controlling it without giving up much. Uh, no, people are usually hidden there. Bullet velocity helps. Running targets. And I don't know how I didn't die to that thing. Oh, look at there. <laughs> He's aimed down side right at a gack. Ooh, ooh, boo, 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 boo. Switch to the Renetti. Show the King Elvis. A little bit of love there. Oh, there goes somebody. I saw him out of my periphery. We got great strafe speed with this configuration. You saw me go left to right. I probably looked like I was bouncing off the walls from the enemy's point of view. And I call him an enemy, but you got to love everybody. There. Hang on to that for a second. And I got an obligatory knife or gets me. I tell you, um, have a look at my knifing vid video and my bonking video with, uh, with a sledgehammer, also with a knife. I mean, knifing is, like I, I say, it's probably the best segue 
into COD for somebody that's new. I know a lot of new players use the knife and it helps them move around the map, understand what's going on. Hey, he was waiting on me, but the HRM-9 did the deed. Now, I didn't add any bullets, a larger magazine. Oh, I'm shooting dead people. That's a little bit of piling on. It's pretty tight free-for-all in the first try, mister. The first 10 lives. Oops. He was out in search of somebody. Uh, crossfire, not good. Renetti, good. I didn't add any larger magazine, which I normally do. And it worked out fine for me, though. I, oop. The guy suspected, Elvis suspected somebody was behind him reloading. There's the classic camper spot on emergency up in the vent. I'm sure it doesn't do good for the air conditioning filters. Running away from getting gacked into somebody that's just, oh, I didn't miss it that time. Somebody's Claymore. But the movement's quick with the HRM-9. Aim down sight speed, I was a little concerned about. It's okay there's somebody. Don't waste your bullets and let people know you're there if you're not going to hit them. I think somebody's chasing me. That's kind of unfair. Sorry about that, buddy. Yeah. He should have been waiting on me. But boy, he's getting gax. Drop three behind. There's the air conditioning repair man. I don't know why he brings a, a sniper rifle or marksman rifle with him. Oh, there are people camping. Put pitch the tent. Now they're updating their KOA campground memberships. From somebody running right at you with the HRM9, you're going to win that fight. So we got Tide going into the third trimester here. Have a mosquito drone we're going to put out. Hopefully it'll go do some work. Down by three. Down by two. And the mosquito gets a double kill. That is awesome. End up with a turret. If I can get this thing out without dying too many times, without buying the farm, it's GG's once you get a turret. Especially if you put it somewhere where it's difficult for people to get to it and Grandpa gets gacked again. Turret's doing work already, though. Grandpa's going to come near there, put out some welcome mats for anybody that may try to destroy it. Whoa. Speaking of getting destroyed, Grandpa just bought the farm again, but the turret got that person, the knifer, and I got the person, the next person he was trying to knife. We just have two more gacks to go. This guy not paying attention is going to be an easy one, and the turret's still alive out there. And there it is. HRM9, who ya? HRM9 did a good job configured. In fact, it was a lot easier than the HRM9 bare bones yesterday, although that was quite a beast without any attachments on it whatsoever. So this is kind of cheating a little bit. I mean, I did get the last four or five kills with a turret, not the HRM9. So... I decided to take it into another map. We have the OG map here, the hotel. Let's check into the hotel. There's always some kind of double something going on here. And slip sliding away, just don't see anybody there. Or somebody, let's see if I can catch them. Ah, the purple veiled nun. Always good to, good to get the first couple of gacks out of the way. There's somebody with a light bulb head. There's Purple Veil. Always even better to shoot in the back because 
no chance you're going to get wounded. And you can look for somebody else at full health. You'll be at full health. So Grandpa's feeling it with this HRM-9. He also felt the Moors right in his chest. Nice quick scope there. I had a feeling that that guy would be my primary nemesis. That I would be Superman and he would be whoever, Dr. Evil. Ah, what's the name of that Superman villain? Lex Luthor. That's Lex Luthor. The recoil felt non-existent compared to the bare bones. I mean, the thing's a beast already. It puts out bullets very quickly. It's a bullet hose. Got Elvis there. And I see somebody. Where is that coming from? Oh, I, back there. See at distance, it's good. Got Elvis twice in a row. And we're going to go after Lex Luthor. Whoa. Get him. No, oh, did not get him. So first trimester, we're doing well. We're up there towards the top. Could be doing a little better, but it's not the HRM-9's fault. Grandpa takes full responsibility for not being further ahead. Oh, the purple veil. Looks like somebody's keeping pace with me. I don't think it's Lex Luthor, though. I expected Lex Luthor because he was good with his with his moors. I'm going to get Purple Veil. Got to get her with a Renetti. And Lex Luthor beats Grandpa to death. He was planning on using a melee weapon the whole time. HRM9 puts it out, man. It puts out the bullets. Oh, there's Purple Veil. Purple Veil's helping Grandpa on his quest to win the second free-for-all in a row here. Uh, there's somebody not paying attention. Or paying attention to the wrong person. And I know I say it a lot, but you got to build up angles. you got to build up angles in free-for-all. Look, there's Purple Veil again. You can't let people be comfortable sitting around, standing there, aim down sight. Purple Veil. So that nun's not going to like me. Going into the second trimester, we're up by four. Still a good three minutes left, so this one's going to go... To 30 gax. It's going to be a Snickers win for somebody. I haven't seen Lex Luthor in a while. Ooh, that guy was fast. Man, he was hard to hit, too. So his gun jerked around right on me. Nice aim. Still up by five, though, or six. Tried to do a little strafe in there, but that guy just absolutely sped out of the out of the scene there. I think that's the running man. It is. That's the sprinter. The Olympic sprinter on my lobby. Well, it's not my lobby. I share it with the other players. Maintaining that six gack lead, that's a good thing. I felt like I was really just taking candy from children with the HRM-9. I really did. It, it is an awesome SMG. There are some that deal bigger damage, some that have a little longer range, but combine the range with the damage, with the bullet velocity, with the rate of fire, which is key, and you have a weapon that's hard to beat. Oh, what's going on there? Yeah, Grandpa's going to be relentless here. Continue to move. Only have three rounds, which is stupid to run around like that. There, I used all three of them. Look at that guy. He's running around so much. And I'm 
don't know what happened to Lex Luthor. Somebody gonna try to jump out and hit Grandpa. There we go. And that's another Snickers victory. Who uh HRM9 is a beast. That's a permanent class for me. This configuration was awesome. Please like and subscribe. Comment below on your HRM9 opinion. Look at they try to try to gag Grandpa. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace.